Hey, and welcome back to another video. Um, this is not any uh, in parts repair playlist video or anything like that. This is just sort of a um, just a video to show you something I bought. Um, what we have here today is this. It's a Nokia E7, a phone that I wanted for a long time, but I was kept back uh, from buying it due to its uh, prohibitive prices. Like they're really expensive back when these were released. Um, this was released alongside the Nokia N8, I think a few months after it. And it's basically slightly bigger than the N8, but it's more business oriented. Uh, it has a slide out keyboard and, well not slide out, slide up kind of display. I'll show you that in a bit. It's a pretty interesting phone. I managed to get this one um, for like, what is it, $36? I can't remember. You must have seen it earlier. Uh, it came from Morocco, so it took like a few more weeks than it usually would take if I order it from the US um, and we're gonna see what we have today it works it's tested and everything so uh, we can just jump right in but before we jump right in don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel and if you like what you see please consider hitting that subscribe button also hit that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video um, I'm also on Instagram discord and Twitter and you can find me on those using the links down in the description below okay Okay, kind of looked at this phone because uh, I was, I, f I had to go pick this up from the post office and then we straight went for lunch. Um, so I kind of had a peek at this thing in the car. Um, its battery is dead, but the phone is in excellent condition. The hinge is a bit weird, like it does not slide out anymore, like naturally. I kind of have to lift it up like that, like that, and do that. Uh, so the the hinge is a bit old, I guess, so it's not working properly. Uh, designed in Finland, it says there. This phone is also manufactured in Finland, it says here. Made in Finland. Um, RM626, that is the model number. Uh, we'll plug it in and we'll see what we get. Let me just get a micro, micro uh, USB ready here. Um, this phone charges off micro USB unlike the other older Nokia phones that I've done on this channel uh, It's got a HDMI out as well. So well, it's a business oriented phone. So it should have back in the day um, This was listed as working so the battery is probably shot and it's probably old um so we'll have to leave it on the charger for a while and see what happens. I'll jump right to it when it's half at least. It's got some charge in it. Okay, so the light's blinking. That means it's charging. All right. Okay, um, so the phone eventually did power on. Um, and I played with it for a while and just turned it off again so it can charge. As you can see, the charging indicator. Let's turn it on again. Now, while it turns on, I want to discuss, like, I saw this th loading thing before and I thought it's like the EMMC issue actually one of my um, one of my subscribers and r a really uh, active member on my discord server suggested it might be the EMMC uh, aka the memory module on the phone uh, that causes that and yeah I've heard about that before as well some Nokia's uh, they do have that problem um, you get the six dots blinking and the phone never turns on um, I have that issue with this and it's definitely not a battery issue like it was with this because this thing has a weak battery It's old um, <clears throat> It's quite easy to change the battery on this. It's not use accessible yet Nokia was you know, re they did a really strange thing with this phone's battery. They have a BL4D I think in this and it's it's the same battery that goes in the other phones like it looks like Where's that thing? Um, I have a BL4U here um, it just it looks like this. It's like it's not soldered on it has these same pins It just looks like a user replaceable battery, uh, but they've decided to go with um, Internals because like because of the hinge and some other design choices um, <clears throat> This phone like the C6 uh, like I was saying it the battery works on other phones it charges the battery charges so it's definitely um not broken because I've taken the battery out and after charging it using this and put it into other phones that work. This just has probably a bad EMMC chip. Um, might have to reflow it, might have to replace it. I don't know. I didn't have the time. This this also has an AMOLED display and it was the cheapest out of all the um, 
the phones that Nokia uh, was selling with AMOLED displays. But we got to do a video on this in the future, so stay tuned for that. I, I've had this for like four months, but I kept procrastinating because it's kind of a huge repair. But I have part of the video done and stuff. So let's take a look at this E7. Back to the original start of the show. It's, the USB port is slightly damaged. I have to kind of push it in for it to start charging. So you press Sorry about that. I ran uh, out of space on my phone there. So what I was saying was you press the home button. Um, you can see all the um, built-in apps. It's got uh, FIFA. It's got a translator, FM radio. Video editor, Shazam, photo editor, quick office. It's got quite a lot of stuff. CNN. I don't know if these apps are like user installed. There's, the phone is empty. There's nothing on the phone. However, maybe the apps are still user installed. Um, it's quite fast as well. Look at it. Barely any animation. Really fast. It has this home screen layout similar to Android. Uh, this is Nokia. I think. It's it's Bell. I'm not sure. Let me check. Um, I think it's it's Bell. Let me. Where's about phone? It should be somewhere here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it is Bell. It's Nokia Bell OS. Um, but the, the phone works perfectly. And like, I want to test the camera. Oh, and we got to talk about another thing about the camera. <clears throat> this camera. Wait. How do I? How do I lock this thing? I don't know. Probably auto locks. Um, this camera is interesting. It's not autofocus, neither is it fixed focus. So it's really, it's really interesting. Like you'd be asked, how could it be um, non autofocus and also non fixed focus? Um, it's, it uses software to focus, so it's a software focus technology. And it's the first phone on earth, I think, that did this. So, um, I think, uh, yeah, I think it's the first phone on earth that did this. So it's got, it's not autofocus, it's not fixed focus either. It's software focus. Its camera is not even close to the Nokia N8's camera, however. Um, but it's still apparently a good camera. We can test it out now. Uh, this is basically a slightly bigger business version of the Nokia N8. Um, and I'll be getting an N8 in a few um days time as well um we'll take a photo of this this is a shell from a nokia n-gage no it's not the one from the unboxing video it's a different one uh, that i'm trying to fix we can i'll probably do a video on that later so you got the camera button it's got a dedicated camera shutter it does not want to go into the camera from that so let's go where's the camera um messages oh there it was there um can there's something wrong with this so about that this phone again like i said this sony overheats i've spoken about it in my previous video i'm using I'm recording using the sony so what i was saying was uh this phone some um the accelerometer sometimes when i open the keyboard which i'll do in a bit um it it gets stuck it does not want to work after that so it has a small problem there camera doesn't want to open like that it's pretty weird so it's like it focuses, but it's it's a bit strange, and I think there's something off about probably the camera has something bad. It doesn't want to take photos with that. I think that button's broken or something. Okay, not the greatest picture of all time. Although it's kind of overexposed because I'm using lighting here. Um, what if I turn off the lighting? Hold up. Will that make it better? Yeah, that makes it makes it much better. The uh, dedicated camera button does not want to work. I think I got to assign it in uh, settings. Um, but yeah, not really a good photo. However, it's uh, it, it was decent for its time, I guess. And this camera is overheating again, the phone that I'm using to record it. So let's make this quick. Uh, okay, so let's open the keyboard. And there we go. Um, really satisfying keyboard mechanism there like every all the hinges and everything's made out of metal there's no plastic in this it's all metal so even this part is metal so and the ribbon is really protected so really good engineering by nokia there um let's see um yeah the accelerometer has something up with it yeah so let's see what we can type so we can type on this or we can 
type on why isn't it typing um is there a lock um we might have a keyboard issue here um we'll have to see about that later something's a bit off let's see if the okay the accelerometer works we'll have to oh is there like a keyboard lock or something let me try that again hold up come on is there like a keyboard lock that is this a lock hold up or is that a lock i'm not sure it, i'm just i've never used this phone before yeah I'm, i'll have to figure out the keyboard problem later either way let's close it um i guess there's nothing much i can talk about this phone i'm definitely gonna make a video on using this phone in 2020 so stay tuned for that i really want to i'm really looking forward to using this phone because it's so interesting and it's really well built aluminum body only a few plastic parts really well built hinge great nokia engineering anyway um i guess that's it for this video for now uh thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel and if you like what you see please consider hitting that subscribe button thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video